Well, hello everyone, this is Stevio, and we are back in the 70s, back on Simon Family Farms here. We are, uh, trying to own the county, if you haven't heard. Ooh, I guess we're probably gonna have to put some oil on this thing before we start planting. Goal today is to try to get some of the wheat planted and try not to blow up this engine. Alright, got the fuel filled up. Oh, are we going to miss that? That was kind of close. Definitely don't want to hit the fuel tank here. Got tanks all over the place here. Got obstacles all around us here. Yeah, just... Oh, whoa. Turn too sharp there. Rookie, rookie driver. Yep. It's a little bit different driving an articulated tractor. Let's just say that. Okay, whoa, whoa, what do we hit? What do we hit? Tight fit, tight fit, tight fit, I know, that's what she said. Okay, get over here. Here we go, who plowed this field? Or who chiseled this field, man? Did a horrible job. Hmm. Can't get one of my remotes to work on this thing. I don't know. Oh, dang it. One of the remotes. I can't get my uh, markers out. Oh, man. I'm going to try a different uh, remote. Try it in two, number two. It's like my remote isn't working. You see it going back and forth. I'm going to have to unhitch this tractor, hook it up to another tractor, and pull this thing into the shop. Oh, not today, John Deere. Not today. I guess this means I get to drive my Steiger. I will back this up right here and probably end up working on it late into the night. Projects are piling up here all over the place. Here we go back this thing. This is going to be way, way overkill for this. Here we go. Overkill at its best right here. Planting wheat. I've decided not to use the markers anyways. I don't know if I really need them. If this planter is so small I can probably just gauge where it's at better than uh, run the markers. This isn't that big of a field. It's about 20 acres. I'm going to put it into wheat. It's kind of a unique field. First planting of the year here. A little spring wheat here. Definitely going to need a bigger planter once we take over the neighborhood. I'm going to have to upgrade my planter. Especially once I get more acres. Working in nicely so far. What do we got going on here? Is that my wife? What is she doing? What is she doing? Oh, wait a second here. So my wife got a phone call from a neighbor, found out another neighbor of ours that moved down the street, down the highway a few miles over the hills and everything, a few miles over the couple of the hills, past her dealership, just moved in. He's a long haul trucker. He bought a, uh, a farmstead and he's trying to clear it out. There's a few tractors out there and everything, but he just wants it cleared out so he can use his buildings for his semis and his trailers and everything. If I help him clean it out, I might have first dibs on some of the old tractors. Come on, Ford. Oh, 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 oh. yep, the old gasser. You gotta kind of baby the old gasser here. All right. All right, so I think I'm going to run down to our dealership, pick up a trailer and probably a different truck that runs a little bit better and doesn't sound like it's about ready to blow up. Here we go. Oh, looks like we got some uh, bailing equipment going out here. Oh, oh, oh yeah, I saw him the other day, I believe. Yep. Putt putt. See you, buddy. 
Uh, we got an old swather here. Oh man, a turbo international looking good. Holy cow. Everyone looks like they are out in the field except me. Okay. And you are uh, just cresting the top of this hill and I can't pass you. Got the old moorboard plow. Oh, looks like an old Steiger. Oh, uh, wore down Steiger. Thing can't be that old though. Alright. Head over here to our dealership. Swap out this truck here quick. And, uh, oh. I guess, uh, try to pick a truck that we can use here. Yeah. Alright, so if you can remember, we ended up building this dealership. We're trying to make money so we can, uh, buy out the neighborhood. Or buy out the county, at least. Uh, the good thing is, is we got our uh, pick of anything we want around here. So what should we uh, do a little snooping with? What's a good little snooping vehicle? This Ford right here. <clears throat> That's a good looking blue. Blue Ford. Hmm. Man, this thing, kind of like in this uh, Scottsdale here. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? This this Bronco just looks cool. If you if we show up in this, we look like we're serious pickers. Yeah, maybe in my head, at least. Get that big V8 running. <laughs> I think that trailer is probably too big for this don't have a gooseneck so we'll pull the little bumper pull here car trailer yeah we could probably use a bigger trailer but hey we're not that far away all right let's skedaddle it's gonna be hard to sell this I actually have two of them the other one if you can remember uh, looks like you might be more more plowing that field over there the other one if you can remember needs a lot of work this one uh, is in mint condition so, uh, we're just down the road here. Got the old tractor. Looks like he's gonna start disking up his, uh, old cornfield there. Corn stubble. Okay, yeah, we got a, what, a stream running through this cattle pen here? Got a little creek. A little flooding down here. It's definitely got some uh, old equipment here. Kind of nice little uh, country house. Farm out in the country here. Wouldn't mind this acreage. Wow. Look at that truck right there. Whew. Yep, wouldn't mind driving that around the world. Or at least the U.S. He definitely uh, collects a lot of trucks there. Where I'm gonna have to figure out where what he wants us to look at. He de he uh, at least cleared out some of his uh, buildings here. Man, look at this truck. Whew. Yeah, I like he. I like he. Nice little cab over. I mean a suicide cab. I mean cab over. Yep. All right. I guess he still needs to clear out. I guess his cattle pen here. Oh, yeah, I, I see what he wants us to look at now. Yeah, we got a few uh, oddballs around here. Looks like we got a old John Deere wore down deer. It's a deer. It's odd. Usually don't see it. Just named deer in the front. We could have definitely used this when we're building our dealership. Yeah, but, you know... We might just keep it just to push snow off of our dealership if we get a good enough price for it. This is just drawing my eye right when I saw it. Way too nice to be stuck out here. Oh, what the heck? Oh, it's a Pontiac. Star Chief? I don't really know a lot about this. It uh, appears to be an old uh, wagon. 
But somebody put a humongous blower on. Have to say, that's cool. We got dragsters in the back, too. I don't know about that front tire. Man, are them small. Look at the headers. Little drop pipes right off of the header there. This might be good for little Johnny. Have a little case com competition with Johnny here. Hmm, I'm gonna have to think of a nickname. Little Case, maybe? Casey? I don't know. There's a lot of names we could. Uh, old uh, Hayrake here. Mm, the New Holland. Old Head out, stuck out here. Uh, cultivator. What do we have here? Look at this Ford. Oh, we could definitely use this up in there. Look at that. Humongous. Oh, that's a big block. We've had blowers on there. Uh, an aftermarket a radiator. This will work nicely at our dealership. Yeah, this will fit right in. Uh, nice clean interior. We got a little flannel accents here. Just needs a nice little a lot of bodywork and whatever is wrong with the engine. Try to get it to running. Yeah, we got a cattle chute here, run down truck with some flats on it. That's not going to be easy to get out of here. A scarecrow. Look at this. International 1468. Man, look at them mufflers on there. Looks like with that engine, a different shade of red. This might be an old repowered. I just love the way the mufflers look on it. They are definitely straight pipes, so they'll be screaming in the field. You might have to wear some earplugs or some foamies. At least you're going to look cool running down the field. I have to say, I'm a little bit disappointed in uh, how quiet she is. I was hoping she would scream so the whole county knows when I start up my tractor and I'm in the field. Yeah, definitely going to have to put an offer on that beautiful girl got a shed here oh, oh what the heck is this this is a uh, 5020 here that engine is definitely not a deer definitely not deer powered what the heck look at all that chrome somebody definitely put a lot of work into this baby fire up <laughs> I love how this thing idles. It's got to be a old propane repowered here. Maybe we could put this on this moldboard plow and uh, try to plow up that field there. I just want to hear this thing under load. Alright. Got it hitched up here. It's time to uh, put this moldboard plow turn there. Gotta finesse this over here. Uh, definitely could use another reverse gear. Looks like uh, one of the gears is out. Alright, let's see how she screams. Oh man, she's uh, hardly even using any power for this. Oh man, I was hoping she would scream. But thank you all for watching and I will see you next time over here in the beautiful Virginia. Later, y'all. Don't forget, like the video. It helps me out a ton. Thank y'all. Can you believe that? We were supposed to clean out a shed, and we ended up helping to plow his field. Yep, yep, the odd things. Don't know why he wants to get rid of his tractors, but shh, don't tell him that.